read books and listen to full-length podcasts. Where I'm getting this from is from a YouTuber named Hamza, and what he explains is that when you're reading or listening to full-length podcasts, your mind is going to be, you know, activating new neurotransmitters and new pathways that are different from as opposed to you watching a YouTube video, for example, that says top five ways to make money online or top five ways to get girls or something like that. Those videos won't be as beneficial to you as as reading an actual physical book or listening to a full length podcast will. Those two actions alone will completely transform your mindset and the way you think about things. And the reason for that is just because these actions and these these things, they trigger your mind differently than just watching, like you wanna stay away from dopamine. You don't don't want dopamine. You don't wanna just watch a video and feel good about it. You wanna actually like learn something from the video. Like this this is why I'm so passionate and so structural with my time and what videos I actually watch because the videos that are going to be most beneficial to you are going to be the ones that are like full length podcasts the ones that are going to be like an hour long to two hour long podcast again I'm getting this from Hamza who is a another YouTuber and why this is so important is that you want to get as far away from dopamine as possible you want to get as close to growth and discomfort and pain and all of that more you want to get as far away from dopamine as possible you do this by delayed gratification activities going to the gym working out working more hours just putting in more work more delayed gratification you're going to feel more motivated you're going to feel more inspired you're going to just going to feel better because life is all about how we feel. If you feel good, you're gonna do good actions, if you feel good. So if the goal is to feel good all the time, how do you feel good all the time? You constantly flood your mind with positive self-talk and there are positive messages, positive YouTube videos, positive podcasts, positive, positive, positive. And then you, you're literally training your brain, as I said before, you're training your neural transmitters You're training those pathways to consume good content in your brain because your life and your decisions are a fact of of the decisions you make on a day-to-day basis. So this is why I talk about monk mode. This is why I talk about delayed gratification so much. And you're literally training those every single day you train your mind. Every single day you train your mind. Every single day you train your mind. And you do that on a consistent basis. You can't be stopped because your mind is your most powerful weapon. It's your most powerful weapon. This is this is why, I, like I said before, I, I stay away from music. Um, if I do listen to music, it's going to be, you know, with an intent. Everything I do is with is with intent. So if I'm going to listen to music, it's going to be with intent. I'm not just going to listen to music just to listen to music. A lot. That's what a lot of people do. They will just listen to music just to listen to music, and it makes no sense because, I mean, I like to think. I'm a thinker. I'm a philosopher. So. I want my mind to be constantly thinking. If you're not really thinking when you have music on, you're just feeling good about the song. But you're thinking when you're not doing anything, when you're walking somewhere, when you're, I mean, you're thinking all the time, basically. So I'm thinking right now, you're thinking right now, everyone thinks. So it's it's important to think positively, to, to, to flood your mind with the positive images, to flood your mind with the positive messages that, that spark your brain on a different level as opposed to you know negative self-talk and negative, negative, negative. Flood yourself with positivity, positivity, positivity. Look up to the people you admire, do the exact same actions they do. Flood your mind with positivity. Look at yourself with, with respect and, and respect yourself by listening to your own brain that's telling you exactly what to do. Your brain tells you exactly what to do every single day of your life. It's telling you what to do, you just need to do it now. Every single day, train your mind for success. Train your mind with positive self-talk. Train your mind every single day. That is the video I have for you today. If you like this video, like the video, comment in the comment section, share this video. If it helped you, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. We'll see you.
in the next video.